I first met Corey Remsburg, a proud Army Ranger, at Omaha Beach on the 65th anniversary of D-Day. Along with some of his fellow Rangers, he walked me through the program and the ceremony. He was a strong, impressive young man. He had an easy manner. He was sharp as a tack. And we joked around and took pictures, and I told him to stay in touch. A few months later, on his 10th deployment, Corey was nearly killed by a massive roadside bomb in Afghanistan. His comrades found him in a canal, face down, underwater, shrapnel in his brain. For months, he lay in a coma. And the next time I met him in the hospital, he couldn't speak, could barely move. Over the years, he's endured dozens of surgeries and procedures, hours of grueling rehab every day. Even now, Corey's still blind in one eye, still struggles on his left side. But slowly, steadily, with the support of caregivers like his dad, Craig, and the community around him, Corey has grown stronger. And day by day, he's learned to speak again and stand again and walk again. And he's working toward the day when he can serve his country again. My recovery has not been easy, he says. Nothing in life that's worth anything is easy. Corey is here tonight. And like the Army he loves, like the America he serves, Sergeant First Class Corey Ramsberg never gives up and he does not quit. Corey.